Hey guys, Rob from clicksgeek.com. In today's video, we're going to go through custom columns, all right, and uh, what kind of metrics that you should be looking at in your, your Google Ads campaigns and the different levels to look at them, right? So this, this is just my opinion. This is how I set up all my campaigns and I show all the stuff that I want to look at. And um, this is how I would recommend that you guys look at them too. So before we get into that today, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description. We have lots of free trainings in there and content. With that said, let's get right into it. So if you're at the campaign view of your Google Ads campaign, all you're going to do is come up here to Columns, Modify Columns, and you're going to have a bunch of different options of stuff to choose in here. Now you can put whatever you want, but I usually put, let me move this out of the way, <clears throat> I have a few things I always do, right? So let's just start from scratch. I'm going to delete everything, all right? So we're going to set up our own custom column. So the first thing to do is go to performance. We want to look at clicks. We want to look at impressions. We want to look at click-through rate. Now, if you don't know what these types of columns are, what they mean, all, all you got to do is hover over them, and it gives you a brief explanation of what they do and how they work and all that stuff. So clicks, impressions, click-through rate. Average cost per click. What else do I like? I like... Impression share top of the page. This will show you the impression share of your ads in the top one of the top four spots or in the one in the top four spots. Next, we'll come down to. I mean, you can do a lot more, guys. I suggest you look into all these other ones. <clears throat> a lot of people put cost and stuff like that, but I don't bother with that. So then, move down to conversions. And then we do conversions, cost per conversion, conversion rate. That's all I really care about. For these lead generation campaigns I'll just come down here we'll take a look you can do a recommended budget I sometimes do that not really too much though I don't mess with attribution you can put um, a bunch of different things from here I don't really do any of these either search impression share I always do I'll try to at least and I think that's pretty much it. That's all I do. So if we go to click apply, you can obviously save your column set if you want. And you'll see it all right here. Clicks, impressions, click through rate, average cost per click, impression. And you can reorganize these however you want, but impression share top. So 86% of the time, my client's ads are in the top, one of the top four spots. Conversions, cost per conversion, conversion rate, and the overall impression share of the campaign, 32%, which is obviously pretty low, but... They have a $21 a day budget, so that's to be expected. There's there could be spending a lot more, and that would increase our impression share. So we got to do the best with what we got with what the client gives us. But ideally, impression share, you want to be as close to 100 as possible, obviously, because impression share, just really all it means is out of every 100 clicks, our client's ads are showing 32 times, right? So that's pretty much what that means. And obviously, the closer you get to 100, the more traffic you're going to get and more leads and clicks and all that stuff. So that's how I do the campaign level um, columns. Now, again, like I said, there's a lot of people do it a lot differently and it totally depends on what kind of campaign you're running. And um, if you're e-commerce, obviously this is totally different. You're not looking at it like this. You're, it's a totally different setup, but I don't do e-commerce. I do lead generation. So this is how I set it up. Next, you can go into the ad group level and you can set all your columns again too. So if we go do that, and I, they're all pretty much the same for ad group level for me. So if we start from scratch again in the ad group level, we'll do performance, clicks, impressions, click-through rate, average cost per click, conversions, conversion, cost per conversion, conversion rate, come down to attributes, no, where was it, not it, search impression share, And then there's also one more I like to do at the ad group level. So we do impression share absolute top. And then what that means is the absolute top, the number one position. Impression share top is just any spot in the top four. Apply those. You can see all that statistics over here. Looking pretty good. And then you can even go further, go down to the keyword level. 
And the keyword level, I do the exact same columns as the ad group level. So there's not really a point for me to do that in here. But um, you can just do it the same as ad group level. And that's really, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, definitely play around with it. But those are the metrics that I care about the most. You can do, obviously, quality score if you want to kind of look at the, at the keyword level. I don't really care about quality score, to be honest. I know it's a little controversial, but I, I don't. I care about conversions, volume, conversion, cost per conversion, and uh, conversion rate. And once you can dial those three levers in, the rest doesn't really matter. As long as your your clients converting the leads you're generating, their high quality leads into customers, it's uh, that's checkmate. So that's all I got for you today. Any questions about custom columns, drop them in the comment section below this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe and check out the links in the description. Lots of cool stuff. All right, guys, later.